Hello. Wanna come along? Just driving very slowly. Hey, look, look at that. It was a wild asparagus and all the little leaves and branchlets had been removed. Well, I have chocolate chips in my mouth in case you were wondering. Now then, I'm looking for little trees to transplant. The best place to get them, of course, is under the wires. Not in somebody's property, in somebody's yard, but alongside the road. Look at the size of those rocks in front of their house. Wow. It's made with the timber from this road. Okay now, I'm going to drive on the wrong side of the road. Because I want to get a good look at what's in here. And there's a little spruce. There's an elm. But see, that one's already been cut off by hydro, so that would have big roots. I don't want anything with big roots. Now we need to go where it's marshy. So this doesn't, this looks, well this looks like it's kind of got some marshy sort of plants in it, but not marshy enough. See, it's, if it hosts um, maples, then it's not going to probably have wild tamaracks too. I mean, we can just check and see. But I think we're too far upland for this. Okay, here we've got cattails. That's low line. There still are some elms and ironwoods. Willow, 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 willow. Basswood. And see, basswood is the one with the fat leaves, and also that one. These are willow, and those are willow. Let's see what else we've got here. And these little ferny thing, or these little tree-like things. Those are not trees at all. Those are little weeds. Little plants. There's a tamarack. He's too big to transplant. I wouldn't try transplanting one his size. You see which one I mean? It's a tamarack. They lose their needles in the in the autumn for winter. So they're a deciduous evergreen. Okay, here we go. Now right here, we have a bushy little balsam fir. Where am I looking? Could be a spruce. Anyway, as long as it hasn't been cut off, There's a bunch of them back there, but those are not on the, not next to the road enough that I would justify taking them. There's another one, but that's probably been cut off. The roots would be big on these, right against the road. Now we're a little uplands here. We'll have to go over, over and down the hill again. 
of the low-lying areas. Yeah, see? When you get to the low-lying area, there's a lot of tamaracks back in there. And if there's big ones, that means there's going to be little ones. That's a nice little balsam fir. And here's another. This is a little spruce tree. Oh, but it's got a very stout trunk. And here's a tamarack, but it's too tall. Several over there that are too tall. Here's one, which has probably got a big root. See how fat the base is? It's because it's been cut by the road, cut, road committee. From time to time to time to time. Grass is pretty thick here for much. There's a little spruce tree. Actually, there's a few of them there. It's a beautiful breeze. Okay, what do these look like? They, they might be okay. There's one. There's a little one over there. There's a little one. Two little ones. I like to take them out of moss. When they're growing in moss, they have a real good chance of getting all their roots. There's a few over there. Somewhere. Here's one. Monarch! Another monarch! Wow, two monarchs. I'm gonna back up so I don't run over them. There he is, right beside where I was. A Mariposa Monarcha. Very small. He didn't have enough to eat. He pupated too soon. He's looking for some moisture on the road to drink from. I don't see milkweeds right around here. This is the first one I've seen this season. Now, if he finds a milkweed and lays an egg, I could take the milkweed. I could raise, I could raise it, and release it. Mariposa Monarca. That's what they call him. Now that's his... what he eats from. They don't really eat, they just lick. I remember the feel of holding these in my, they would climb on my finger when they were, they would come out of their chrysalis.
I love monarchs. Oh my, there's a deer just behind us. He just walked down into the side of the road there. Let's go back and have a look at the deer, shall we? Bye.